we are going to solve another problem on normalization. So here is the problem for us. Consider the following relational schema. So we are having three schema. One is the supplier, next one is the parts and the last one is the catalog. Supplier is con containing the supplier ID, supplier name, city and street. That means the supplier details. Parts is containing parts ID, parts name and the respective color. So that is the parts details and catalog is containing the supplier ID, parts ID and the cost. That means it is containing some transaction information. That means which supplier has supplied which parts at which cost. So three schemas are given to us. Consider the following relational query on the above database. So that is a nested query we are getting, nested subqueries. Select S dot S name from supplier S where S dot ID not in. Select C dot S ID from catalog C where C dot P ID not in. Select P dot P ID from parts P where P dot color not equal to blue. So this is the nested subqueries written in SQL statement. Assume that relation corresponding to the above schema are not empty. That means they are having some values are there, tuples are there, records are there, which one of the correct interpretation of the above query. So here we are having our four options are there. So we shall have to tell that which option is suitable against the SQL statement given to us. So let us go for one by one. So here you see this is the outer query of this, this is the inner query for this. There is the innermost query for this and this is the outer query for this. So let, let me go for the query evaluation. So always we will be starting with the innermost query because it is not depending with any, anyone. So select P dot PID from parts P where P dot color not equal to blue. That means it is producing the list of those product IDs whose color is not equal to blue. So I think this one is producing the required interpretation is select all non blue parts. So for this one I can easily mark this one. Now see on this this outer query is executing select c dot sid from catalog c. So where c dot pid not in that means I want to list those supplied IDs and where this from this catalog uh, relation where C dot PID not in this. So I think this is producing the respective query in plain English language will be like this. Select all suppliers who have supplied a blue part. So that is the respective interpretation of this. Select all suppliers who have supplied a blue part because it is working on not in in this way. So that's why we are getting this. Now if we execute this one on this result that is select s dot s name from supplied s where s dot s id not in that means it is producing the logical implication will be like this that means select suppliers who have not supplied any blue parts. So this is select all non blue parts select all suppliers who have supplied a blue part because it is working on it using the not in. There is a no membership and on this it is working with not in so select suppliers who have not supplied any blue parts. So here we are having the blue part so here I shall be going for not supplied any blue parts. So now let me check what are the options are there. Find the names of all suppliers who have supplied a non blue part. Find the names of all suppliers who have not supplied a non blue part it is not at all true. Find the name of all suppliers who have not supplied any blue parts. So that is that is the respective answer we are getting and none of the above was the fourth option. So I will be putting a tick on this option number C here because find the name of all suppliers who have not supplied any blue parts. So that is the required answer we are getting. So whenever such problems will be coming in your exams. So this question came in the gate exam with these four options. So whenever such problems will be coming always try to go on evaluating the query from the innermost one 
and then move to the outer and outer and outer queries accordingly. In this way, you can easily answer such questions. Thanks for watching this video.